Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel Laser Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi. I'm reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. And in this video, guys, I'm going to teach you how you can reduce the file size of your image without losing the quality of the picture. All you have to do is to watch the step by step I'm taking in this video and see how you can get it done without any stress, okay? But before we get to the tutorial practical started, if you are very new to this channel, remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So whenever I upload content, you'll be you'll get notified and you'll watch the video. And lastly but not the least, if you have any question for me as far as this tutorial is concerned, you can put your question in the comment section down below. So let's get started. But before you get to this tutorial study, I would like to show you guys one or two things. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is that the image you can see right here, I'm going to show you the raw file size of this image and I'm going to show you what it decides after I was able to compress the file. Okay. So I'm going to go to the file right here and I'm going to click on properties. All right, guys. So you can see the property of this image here is, uh, what is it? Let me scroll down and uh, you see the property size. Okay. So you can see the file size of this image is almost 5 MB. That is just about 4.59 4 MB, uh, MB. So that's the file size. Now we are going to compress this file size from this uh, 4.59 to at least a minimum of uh, 2 MB or 3 MB as the case may be. So let's go. So the, we're going to make this up with a website. So I'm going to, uh, you can use any browser to get this thing done. All you have to do is to watch the step I'm taking in this video. So as the case may be, I'm using uh, Google Chrome to get it done. So the name of the site is tinypng.com. Alright, so when you open up the site, this is how it's going to uh, open up. So there are two things by which you can, uh, two ways by which you can drag your image to the site. So uh, I'm going to click on here. You see this icon here. Just click on that for you to upload your picture to the uh, to the site. So I'm going to click on so you can see it has been uh, low. So I will now look for the picture that I want to reduce the file size, which is that uh, Spider-Man board. Okay, so this one right here, this is the one I'm going to reduce the file size. So I'm going to select this one. If you haven't selected it, I'm going to click on open. So you are going to pre prepare the file. You can see, you can see it right here. The file is going to upload. Once it uploads successfully, they are going to compress the file size from the original file size to a, 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 a lower fashion. And you are still going to maintain the same quality of the image. So let's see the result. The file is still compressing. Wow. So you can see now the file has been fully compressed. So you can see from the original file size, we are able to compress this file to uh, Seven points, uh, seven hundred and ninety-seven point seven kilobyte. You can imagine that. So when you are done with your file compressing, and then you have to click on download all. So click on download all, or you save to Dropbox. So you can see that the file has been successfully downloaded. So the next thing that you are going to do is to just un unzip it. So let me quickly show you how you can do that. So I'm going to minimize my browser. Then this is the file right here. This is the file. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to right click. So after right click, I'm going to click on uh, extract file, extract file here. Okay. I'll click on yes. So guys, you can see the new file size here, which is uh, which is now uh, seven seven hundred seventy eight kilobytes. So if I click on it, for me to see the quality of the image. So let's see.
So you can see that the quality of the image still remains the same, despite the fact that we are able to compress the file size of this image. So we can come back here and come to the file. Then we click on properties. Then we have to scroll down and look for the current file size. So you can see we still maintain the same file size from almost 5 megabytes to 778 kilobytes. I hope this video is really helpful. If you find this video helpful, give the video a big thumb up. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, remember to subscribe and don't forget to share the video to your loved ones. Thank you guys for watching this video from the beginning to the end. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.